All right. I hope you guys are doing well out there. We're going to talk a little bit about, uh, and thank you. Thank you for joining the, uh, let's say, hey, what is this? Uh, matching your industrial customers uh, live, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm pretty passionate about that. I'm trying to play around with this B Live. If you have anything to do with B Live, this is exactly what it's all about. I can, I can do this solo. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, anyway, well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. We're going to get going because I've been uh, talking a lot about <clears throat> the opportunity to be able to figure out what your industrial customer wants. That's one, which is very important. I'm going to move this over here so I can at least look at what I got. So bear with me. All right. That's even better, huh? All right. To be able to do that, right? To be able to... Uh, Say okay, my customers got this, these values, this, this, these purpose, this, this passion, and then how do I align my side? And then the reason you want to do that is because, well, that's important. First off, you want to be able to create that no like and trust, and and to do that, you got to be able to have that linkage. So it's real important to be able to come up and have that conversation with your customer, an industrial customer. And we don't do that. We typically go the old, old route, and we just say, oh. This is what I got. I've got the best shovel in the world, and and this shovel can dig the best ditch in the world, and it's straight, and it's all wonderful. And that might be a feature that has great value to your customer. What do they really want? How are you there? Because we're once again we're 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 here with our services or our uh, you know product to solve a customer's problem, to eliminate and, and be able to uh, remove that, whatever that pain is from your customer. So, you know, let's, let's first try to connect on the human level and be able to do that. So we're going to go down that road and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what that means. So I'm going to show this. It's pretty cool. Did I just hide that? So let's, let's know. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty cool, huh? That's not where I want to be. Yeah, that's where I want to be right there. That's pretty cool. So anyway, what you see is this uh, customer passion uh, metrics. And so what we're talking about here is the 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 ability to have that conversation and and I'm, and, and and just put on your customer hat and and you you, you have a, a desire, a want. And when somebody comes and talks to you, you, you you consider their product, their services, because you got a want. You've got a desire on your end to to do something, to you know achieve some objective. And it always, from my perspective and my career and my uh, expectation, has always been around um, how do I increase my sales? How do I expand my market? How do I improve my brand? And so that's that's always been my want. So from that perspective, if you have that conversation, and in this particular case, you can tell. Boop, 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 yeah, yeah, let me unplug that. From that perspective, you can say, okay, customer, what what, what I, I've got this shovel over here. It's a great shovel, but we're not going to talk about that because I, I really have to, me personally, have to understand your want. What do you want from that shovel? Is it is it? Well, I, I, I would like a shovel to be easy to use, which is an oxymoron because there's no such thing as an easy shovel. There really isn't. Or jumbo shrimp, or it's like easy digging or easy money. doesn't exist, but here we go. We'll, we'll just go. I want an easy shovel. I want an easy tool to be able to dig my ditch. And, and, and because I've got that tool, I want to be able to increase my sales. That's what I want. That's one of the reasons why I'm having this conversation with you you over here and check out the you thing and have that conversation because the reality is, is if, if you don't understand what your customer want, it does not make sense. Does not make sense for you to, for me to take that shovel, ta -da, that shovel and try to hit them over the head by all of the wonderful features it has because you're not listening to your customer. And you know that, so that, that takes care of want. Pretty straightforward, right? But you you would be amazed on how many people do not have that conversation. They just don't. They just sit there and they'll sit there and go, okay, I got this great shovel and this is what I do. But 
nonetheless, it's not where you want to go. You want to be able to understand truly their want because, because you want to be able to solve their problem. You're, you're, it's always about the customer. It's always about that focus. It's not about you. Please understand that. It's not about you. Okay, let's go on to fears. There's always fears. So when somebody comes and approaches me and uh, they're, they're selling that shovel, and um, I already have a bunch of shovels over here, and, and I don't like them. My ditch digging is very hard. However, I've, I'm looking for a solution that, that, once again, I can dig more ditches, and it's easier to use. But there's fear. Now, the fear that I always say, is it going to make my life more difficult? Is there a level of complexity with this fantastic shovel that I need to be aware of? And do, am I willing to sort of uh, deal with that? And is there, a, is there some pain that goes along with it? Because I'm, I, I've got all this other, you know, and from a customer perspective, I've got all this mountain of other problems that exist over here. There's just mountains right here, blah, a bunch of mountains. And, and, and I just don't have the time. I want you, once again, I want that ease. That's what I want. I've got all this problem over here, but I just, I'm trying to deal with your solution and, and having this conversation. My want is ease. But my fear is that if I lock and load, and I sit there and go, okay, I'm going with your shovel, and it brings complexity into my life, if it, if it adds to the pain of what my already mountainous pain that I have over here that I got to deal with, yeah, that's, that is a real problem. So you've got to understand what their fears are and have that conversation up front. It's important to have that conversation up front because then you can sit there and you, you can approach it from a, the, the conversation from the position of, of knowing, right? You, you, you want to know, like, and trust. You, you, then you begin to know what your customer is, is challenged with and what their fears are so that you can sort of get that picture of how your solution, the shovel, fits into that. Okay, so now we start going into that persona, the heart, the, the, the mind. What do they stand for? Now, for me, I'm, I'm always looking at an individual, somebody come to me, and I'm not looking for a fly-by-night person. I'm not looking for somebody that uh, is looking to get rich fast, you know, cut a deal and move on, and then my, my headaches. Many of the, the digital solutions that I have, one of the, the key and biggest component is customer service because you know as well as I do, once, once there's something that sort of goes wrong, you just need to get it solved, and you need to get it solved without – the pain and complexity that comes with potentially customer service. So I'm always looking for a company that's grounded or an individual grounded in integrity. So I don't have to deal with that, that component. Make sense? That's the integrity side. And I want that individual to work hard, work hard for me. So I know that I, I'm going to do it. That's what that customer is interested in. And these are just examples, right? So find out what they stand for. And then you'll see why we're gonna we're gonna align that whole thing up, and 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 see how we can bring it all together because that's what we are. We're trying to match your customer's passion with that. Okay, makes sense. Pretty straightforward. And then one of the things that always and this always goes to the fear and it comes down against. I am tired of people making promises they can't keep. So in the case of that shovel, right. It's simple for me to use that as an example. So, yeah, get with it. So, in the case of the shovel, does it really make my ditch digging easier? Does it, it make, is there an opportunity to expand my sales, my market, my brand, whatever I'm driving for, that shovel? But the sales individual, because they're not grounded in integrity, they're, they're not, they're looking for the, the quick win, the quick hit, the quick whatever. They're looking for, and they're going to try to overpromise. Oh, yeah, that handle. It's made out of a special, you know, uh, product that doesn't put calluses on your hands. And then that that metal piece, it's it's made of kryptonite, right? And that kryptonite cuts through dirt like it's butter. It's a hot knife through butter. And I, I'm telling you, your life is going to be the best. And then I sit there and go, okay. So I buy it, and it's not. So there was an overpromise. I'm against that. Be real. Hey, you know the shovel. The shovel is designed pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking shovel. It's got some great design to it. It's got this little thing, this and that, and it does help out ergonomically to dig a better ditch. That's all I'm, 
be candid. I'm not, um, and, and you use it for whatever you want. So I, I am really against overpromise. I want to be real because I'm here to sell, uh, to, to talk about my challenges and be real about it. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. So we want, we've got wants, fears, stand for, and against. Those are the components. That is what your customer is passionate about. Now let's talk a little bit about you. Now, I'm not going to have a conversation with my customer about my want. Hey, okay. okay. Just not. How about that? I'm trying to reach over and type at the same time through this mic and all that garbage. I'm just not because really it, because it's not about me. And once you start talking about your wants with you, with your customer, now it all of a sudden it becomes about you. Of course you want to make the sale. Of course I want to be able to say, okay, I got my, you know, I sold my shovel, but it's not about you again. So we're not going to talk about your want. It's all about their want. What do they want? What are, what, what are they driven by? Ease, all of that stuff. Your fears, once again, you're not going to talk about that. And hey, damn it. Sorry about that, cuz. It's just, anyway. And hey, you're not going to talk about your fears. Why would you? Because once again, you take the focus and you put it on yourself. That's not it. It's always about your customer. So your wants and fears, from your perspective, yeah, off limits, don't care. You don't have, you're trying to establish your um, no like and trust components here. And the last thing they want to know is about, well, what do you want? What's your, what are you frightened of? And, and have that conversation. That'll come with time after you develop those friendships and they care and find it and demonstrate you care. But you do stand for stuff. It's like, I stand for integrity. I do. I want, I want to be able to say, okay, I sold that shovel and that shovel is what I promised. So I am you know, going to say, yeah, I am all for integrity. I'm going to do everything I possibly can. Once again, for me to you, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to provide the best content and value that I possibly can for you for your success. The same thing exists here. You do everything you can. It's all customer focused, period. End of discussion. Blaze that into your head because that is everything. It's about your customer and solving their problems. And you know what? Nobody's going to ever outwork me. Okay? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Outwork me. That's, that's my thing. People can because there's always somebody that's going to be better than you, and that's all good. I'll stand on their shoulders. But nonetheless, hard work. You see where this is going. I stand for integrity and hard work. What the hey? Look at that. My customer also stands for integrity and hard work. That's pretty good. We can have a conversation that's based off of I stand for. And all of a sudden, you're starting to you're starting to build that relationship in a different way. Now I I and I'm gonna I'm gonna say, yeah, oh well, good. And you know what I hate? I'm never gonna overpromise. I am going to I'm gonna tell the truth. There. Good. The last thing I want is my customer to regret anything or any interaction that he, that uh, she might have with me. And the reason for that is obvious. Once I burn that bridge, eh, that bridge is gone. Once I, I just buzz on in and drop that shovel in and then I move on out and, and it doesn't meet the standards that they need to be able to ease whatever challenges they've got and increase sales, whatever they want, it's all over. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to have anything that's associated with that, period. If fans are buzzed, slam dunk, not going to happen. Does that make sense, right? Now, now you take that and you look at the customer and you're saying, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can, I understand. I hear your fears and I see it and it's right there. And then in the integrity and hard work, ah, I like integrity. I like hard work. Okay, we're, we're symbiotic right there. You hate that. I hate that. I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to be candid with you. That's a really powerful, powerful and, um, what's that, what's that? Dismiss. That is a powerful tool. By the way, that just popped up because we're doing it uh, live right now. Anyway, so you can see how that links. Now, this is where it gets powerful. What if I talk to a customer, an industrial customer, and they uh, 
their wants are just a little bit, yeah, you know, I, I ease sales. That's all fine. Their fears is plain, and, but then they stand for things that that I don't stand for. They stand for um, things that you know. I'm looking for something to you know get done quickly and quick. You know, whatever it might be, it's it's sort of there's. I stand for cheating people, right? Getting getting mine and and doing what I need to do to make it happen or whatever. Whatever. It's all sort of me focused. Understand, I understand it's customer focus, got, got all that. But then there's something that's uh, within that individual's heart. And then they're against, you know, whatever they might be against. I, I can't think of anything right there, but you're having this conversation. And all of a sudden, you realize that there, there's, there's a disconnect between the wants, fears, stand for, and against components and you and your company. And let me just sort of be candid here. You don't want a customer that's going to cause that that you have a disconnect with, and and I'm not saying this happens all the time, but I guarantee you, you've had it in some way, shape, or form in the past, and all of a sudden you sit there and go, "Oh wow, I don't I don't want this customer anymore because they're causing me nothing but problem, anxiety, and uh, the you know the the wants is that that you get to work with great people here over here, right? And then, of course, the customer doesn't see it. And your fear is that, man, I, I've aligned myself with somebody that just causes me nothing but problems. You don't want that. You want to be able to align yourself with the uh, industrial customers that are have similar stand fors and against, and then you can really come up with solutions that truly meet their expectations. Pretty straightforward. I, I mean, I, 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 I enjoy it because the reality is, is that, um, don't do, write it down, by the way, write it down because it's real important to, to do that. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to hide that. Can I hide that? Let's do that. Boom. I got to get used to this. This is pretty cool stuff. So anyway, that's what we're talking about. Okay. I want you to make sure that you do the, the wants, the fears, what do they stand for and against align it with what you stand for and what you are against, and then you provide 100% solutions for them. Keep that, you know, shovel um, analogy in your mind just because it's a shovel, but the reality is, is that you're trying to be able to provide a solution, and I just use a shovel, that really meets their needs and, 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 and their wants, and to be able to, you know, expand sales and not create havoc within their organization. It's a great solution for them. And then you can start develop, developing that no like, trust. Then they can say, hey, hey, this guy cares about me. So there's that caring part because you, you go over and above everything that you possibly can. And then, of course, in all of a sudden, in the natural progression, boom, you're friends with that individual, which is just fantastic because you want to be friends with them. And then that is really the equation of success. So try that out. I guarantee you, you'll hit some home runs with that. I'll use that as a sports analogy. So anyway, thank you very much for joining the uh, the little Facebook Live here. And I appreciate your time, energy, effort. I always do. And check me out at industrialtalk.com. Come and contact me. I'm out there all the time. I've got content galore. So go find it. So thank you again. And this is the um, Industrial Groundbreaker Group. If you want to be a part of that, if you have people that want to be a part of that, that are in the industrial space, hook them up. Let them be a part of this program. So anyway. Thank you guys very much, and thank you very much. Have a great day and be safe.